I'm the baseball boy. <laughs> Home run, hit it out of the park. He's the baseball boy. I'm stealing first base. I'm stealing second base. That's, I'm stealing third base. That's buh, 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 baseball boy. I'm gonna punt. Punt? Bunt? Bunt. I'm gonna bunt. And then I'm gonna punt. And then I get a home run for the baseball boy. I'm putting on my hat. And I'm chewing gum. And I'm all out of gum. So I hit a home run. Because <laughs> those are the all only right. things I do. I'm the baseball boy. That's, yeah. He's the baseball boy. We went to a Brooklyn Cyclones game this weekend. Yeah. And uh, I got this jersey. We went yesterday? Yeah, we went yesterday and we saw them play baseball and we rode the roller coaster. The we cyclone. Did. The cyclone, yeah. And we ate hot dogs. Yeah. And we saw them hit the baseball. Not They didn't hit it very good because they lost by like not scoring basically ever. Yeah, they lost by a lot. It was like seven to one. But I got to see the other team hit the baseball. You <laughs> sure good. did. We got to see the Cyclone King. We got to see the Cyclone King. He was there. King the, Marty the king or whatever of, his king name of was. Long Island. What is he called? King of Brooklyn. <laughs> king, king of Coney, of Coney Island. Island. Yeah, we saw him. We saw him. We saw the little seagull mascot of the Brooklyn Cyclones. Yeah, we saw the, the ketchup and mustard and relish mascots oh, that's do, right. their, do their race. They did. Relish won. You were rooting for relish. Yeah, we were rooting. We had just talked about with Julia's friends how rare, relish, relish, how rare it is to have relish. We were saying relish is an underrated condiment for hot dogs. It's true. Because Rachel got relish on her hot dog, didn't she? Yeah, but I'm saying everyone always forgets about ra relish. Yeah. Because it's so rare. And uh, we went on the cyclone. I can't say relish. We went on the the cyclone roller coaster, and uh, that roller coaster was made in 1927. Yeah, it's an old wooden roller coaster. It's an old wooden roller coaster, and I was telling everyone that it's not that bad because I was the only one who's been on it. And um, so we brought our friend Mark, who is very scared of roller coasters. He's so scared of roller coasters. But he was, a, he was a, a big, brave boy, and he came onto the roller coaster, and that roller coaster is worse than I remember it being. <laughs> yeah, at the first drop, he was behind us on the coaster just screaming, you lied! <laughs> <laughs> so we just kept hearing you lied being screamed behind us while we were going around. We're like popping out of our seat. We're like hovering in the air, being pushed by the back of the seat, and then like slamming against the side. And I just hear from this large, muscly man going, you lied, you lied. <laughs> We have we, a photo of them. It's great. Oh, yeah. Can we show the photo? I don't yeah. know. If, are we allowed to do that? Yeah, why not? Do they care? I, I doubt they care. It's a really funny photo because it's me and Julia in the front with big smiles on our faces. And then <laughs> our friends Mark and Rachel behind us both looking like having the most horrific time of their lives. Um, wait, come on. It's doing it. It's focusing. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm at like a pleasant brunch. <laughs> Rachel's trying to grab the hand of the man behind her. <laughs> Poor Mark. So funny. Mark, the sweetest man ever. Yeah. He was like, oh yeah, I'll go. He's like a golden retriever of a man. He was like, sure, I'll go on the roller coaster. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that scary. But you know what? <laughs> He was a new man after that. He yeah. looked at the Thunderbird ride and he's like, he's like, maybe I'd go on that. We yeah. go on that. I think we unlocked his his inner coaster lover. We forced him to go on one roller coaster, and now he loves it. That's all it takes. Honestly. That's all it takes is one good coaster, uh, which the Cyclone, Cyclone, good coaster, unless you are big or small. Yeah. <laughs> if you're too small, you're going to be pinging around that booth. If you are any bigger than me and Jacob, 
um, you can't fit in the little bit. Yeah, you, you see the size of me and Julia. We were crammed yeah. into it. Like there yeah. was no additional Squished. space for our Squished hips. Squished together. So I was like, how does anyone bigger than us sit in this roller coaster? Yeah. And also like the, it, my knees were crammed up against the thing in front of me. It was made in 1927. People were tinier yeah, back then. Everyone was just a little guy then. That Imagine was a fun a, day. a whole state filled with nothing but little guys. That was what New York was yeah. in the 1920s. Yeah. Everyone wore a little hat and they all came in their suits. Mm -hmm. and they went, good morning, good morning. <laughs> and they got on the cyclone and they all sat per fitting perfectly. And they would all go, good morning, good morning, good morning the, whole, morning, the whole morning, time they were on morning. it. Good morning, good morning. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's history. Yeah. Anyway, we, um, we're back in Returnal. This is the final Returnal stream. The final Returnal. Because Julia is, is doing me the personal kindness mm -hmm. of doing the last Returnal stream so that I can uninstall Returnal and it stops yeah. taking up 100 million gigabytes of space on my hard drive. It is like 80 gigs this game, so I would love to uninstall it from Jacob's computer so that he can have some room on it. Yeah. If, if we're being... Uh, if we're being not generous towards Returnal, mm -hmm. we could say that Returnal caused us to lose a droppy episode. Yeah. Because I ran out of space on my hard drive, and if Returnal wasn't on it, I wouldn't have run out of space on my and hard drive. That was such a good episode, too. But I would have run out of that space eventually. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. But That's 80 gigs later one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe by that time I would have freed up more space. So wherever we land on this one is where we're going to land. I hope we could do something cool on this, on this, you know, playthrough, but I'm not going to push it. This run did start by Jacob wanting to test the audio levels and then getting shot a lot. So, you know. I was uh, I was getting <laughs> shot, and also like I play inverted, and Julia doesn't. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> I he was, was going like this. He was like, "How do you shoot?" I, was, like, I couldn't look up. I couldn't look down. And then the game's got a thing where you like half pull the left trigger yeah. to look down your sights, and you full pull it to charge up your like sp special move. Yeah. And I'm not used to that. So I just like had the trigger fully pulled down and I'm like hitting right trigger and it's not firing. And I'm like, the gun's just glowing. Why won't it shoot? <laughs> and I, I just kept being like, you have to half pull. You have to half pull. Realizing that to someone who hasn't played Returnal, that makes zero sense. It's This will have been the first game I've ever played in which a half pull was a requirement. Yes. For my hands to do. It's to force you to like chill out a little bit. You got to yeah. like. It works well because of the PS5 controller because it's got the. Like it, it kind of stops halfway because it's got the haptic, yeah, feedback thing. So haptic. it, it works well on the controller. I just was not uh, expecting it, but yeah. So, oh wait, I did oh. it already. <gasps> wow, I did it already for you. Thanks. Uh, I don't know why it said continue gameplay like that. Because then when you unplugged it, it was like, hey, connect a controller. What does this mean? Hit keyboard buttons. Am I not on it? There we you go. You weren't on it somehow. Okay. Despite going to it, you weren't on it. Yeah. That's uh, all right. I've seen a little... Seen a little we chop. had this problem last time too. How did we fix oh, it? Oh, I think it's because I have to I have to do the screen thing. Some games don't care what I have my my thing at. Other games care a lot what I have my thing at. That's right, my thing. My refresh rate needs to be at 60. Then we do this. Then we do this. Okay, this this should fix the issues. There we go. Don't dig your claws into my leg, please. Ms. Returnal Olive. cares a lot what I have my thing at. Yeah, it that is true. But other games are like, put your thing at whatever. Just whatever, man. We don't care. Hi, Olive. Olive, don't. It's Olive's time. 
now. It's Olive's time to be here. Thank you, Olive. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Olive. I love this. Very helpful, Olive. Oh, hello, Miss Olive. Yep, show everyone your butthole. That's what they want to see. I don't want the lobster. I am the lobster. Wait, it's I am the walrus. There's no song that says I am the lobster, is it? I don't think so. Unless they say it in that movie. Do they say I am the lobster in the movie The Lobster? Can anybody tell us? No, just Rock Lobster. But they don't say I am Rock Lobster in Rock Lobster. Right? Yeah, I know they say I am the walrus in the Beatles song. I am the Eggman. But no one says I am the lobster. Cuckoo kachoo. I am the Eggman. Dwayne the Rock Lobster Johnston. <laughs> My favorite part of that is the Johnston. Johnston. There's no neat reason for it to be Johnston. But when he becomes the Rock Lobster, he becomes Johnston. This run ain't going great, huh? Game volume is a tad quiet. You're a tad quiet. I mean, I can make it a bit louder, but I, I don't think what you're gonna hear is. Is. Celine's not it's saying not like, anything poignant. It's not like good for your ears what you're gonna hear, but I can make it louder. Volume good, volume fine. Game volume is fine. Volume good. Volume fine, volume good. <laughs> volume fine, volume good. Volume fine? Superb? The volume, oh I don't think I've ever had superb volume. Well, we're there today. Um, when we get cutscene stuff, me and Julia will stop talking and the volume will be louder automatically. That's how I have it set up. That's true. Because I have it duck low when we talk. Duck low, low, low. Where's the button? Where's the button? When Celine speaks, we shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> All right? <laughs> the game volume is roughly standard. Voluminous volume. Ooh. My hair has some volume today. Very happy about that. Your hair's got volume today? It does. Did you put some voluminizing shampoo in it? God did not. God did not? <laughs> did you just say God did not? God did not. God did not, but did you? I did I did it. God, my least favorite enemies. <laughs> God Fuck did vampires. not. Vampires. <laughs> 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 Just laughing at God did not. <laughs> God did not put volumizing things away. I am a conduit for God, okay? Yeah. I mean, you do have pretty, like, pin straight hair. So it is true that God did not. Jesus. God did not would be kind of sick on a shirt. If it was just, like, a black and white picture of you and underneath it it said God did not in like block text. Here's the thing, it also sounds like it could be like a sequel to God's Not Dead or whatever. God did not is dead. <laughs> the sequel to God's Not Dead is God did not is dead. Okay. That New SSS one. merch? I think it should be. I think God did not should be the next SSS merch. I'll do it. I'll design it. God's not dead. <laughs> Fans do weep if God's not dead. <laughs> we're, we're going back to Old English. This is like worse than Old English. We're combining as many words as we can with as many apostrophes as we can. There we go. 
saw someone saying they were having a miserable day, so I decided to tune in live for the first time instead of watching the VOD in hopes that it would make their night better. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to make your night better. We probably won't make it worse. Probably. We're definitely going to make it better. We're probably going to say some like funny shit and you're going to be cracking up, busting up. I did say God's not. God's, God's, what did I say? You just said God is not. God did not is what you said. <laughs> Y'all would have weeped if you knew God's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it. So do you have like guy. a goal for this run? Are you just trying to like get as far as you can? I want to defeat God. Because I want to God defeat the, the baby God. The God with his little friends? Yeah, the God and all his friends. I want to kill God and his friends. I mean, you got so close to doing it. Like twice. Yeah, last stream. time you were like pretty close to getting it done. And the time before that, you were also pretty close to getting it done. Yeah. Why is the controller so fucking loud? It wants you to notice it. It's got that damn controller speaker in it, and it, it is so loud. There's probably a way to turn it down, but I don't know how. I don't really like care enough to do it. You know? You just get that like surround sound reload. Yeah. First time Twitcher, long time YouTuber. Appreciate the energy I'll bring to my life. Keep on keeping on. Thank you for the kind words. This is culture speed run. Yeah, I'm gonna meet up with my uh, husband who also wants to kill God, who I hate, but also love because we both want to kill God in different yeah. ways. You want to find a spouse that wants to kill God as much as you do. In the way that you do. In the way that you do. Because everyone has like different ways <laughs> that they want to kill God. What's that song? Uh, I'm so in love with you. There's it a just line. just keeps getting better. Yeah what's, yeah, what's the line that's before that? I don't know how you do what you do. I'm so in love with you. It just keeps getting better. I was trying to figure out how to make that work for um, killing God with you. I want to spend the rest of my life killing God by your side. There we go. Forever and ever. God keeps getting deader. <laughs> God keeps getting deader. That's good. Uh, spoilers if you haven't read the whole series, I guess. That well, series I mean, came out in like the 80s, so whatever. It's spoilers in the same... Well, it didn't come out in the 80s. Didn't it? I thought it came out in like the late 80s. The Golden Compass? Yeah. No, it came out while we were alive. Was it in the early 90s? Because everyone I knew who had read it, read it as a kid. I read it when I was 21. I read, I started reading it as a kid. Yeah, early 90s, right? Oh, I thought it came out like 88. 95, someone said. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Spider Gwen said, and you're telling me his materials are dark? That's right. The darkest materials you'll see. The dark materials are, uh, turns out, the the bits that happen when your soul gets severed from your body. That's not true. It's like something else. Do you want to know my preferred method of killing God? Sure. This is just like how I like for it to go down. Okay, you get all your friends together and your best swords? Well, I like to be living in a small, in a quaint village. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, with my best friend by my side. And then I like to have sort of like an opposing military group or force come in and burn mm -hmm. down my village mm -hmm. while me and my friend are out in a cave mm -hmm. saving a little girl. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, the village is on fire. Mm -hmm. And then we have like a fundamental disagreement about um, the nature of the revenge we want to take, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thus causing us to part ways mm -hmm. and eventually ending in my former best friend turned rival mm -hmm. 
um, devouring God and becoming God. Mm -hmm. And then I kill him. Okay. That's kind of the way I like to kill God. Okay, that's a pretty good plan. Yeah. I, my preferred method of killing God is I gather, I kidnap a bunch of children from the streets. Okay. And I uh, bring them to the Arctic Circle. And um, I, I team up with the church, see? Because then they'll never suspect. God will never see it coming, you know? Yeah, the call's coming from inside the house. Call's coming from inside the house, right? And then I, I make a soul guillotine and uh, I, I sever the souls of the children from the children. And then I abandon the children in the Arctic Circle. And then yeah. I go to heaven using the power of the severed souls mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I like push God off of a cliff. You clip him. I cl uh, yeah, I clip God. <laughs> you clip his ass. Yeah, if this was Storyteller. <laughs> yeah, you, you um, wait until he's on the cliff overlooking the sea. It's setting cliff. Characters, me, and God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why did we need to go to the Arctic Circle? Oh, it's actually super important that you go to the Arctic Circle because you need to pass into the Aurora Borealis. Yes, yes. Heaven is through the Aurora Borealis. So um, it's kind of silly of you to ask. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to get like... If I'm, you know, if you want me to give away all of my details, you know, my whole plan, you know, I left out the bit where my husband kills my daughter's best friend with a knife. This uh, is a subtle knife, though. I, yeah, I think he just kills him with a regular knife. But it's subtle. <laughs> it's like a subtle he just, way to do it. He just slits what's-his-face's throat. Yes, but it's subtle. It's subtle. Um... People keep asking me what my reference was. It was just a reference to like every JRPG that came out from the year 1990 to the year 2005. It was none of them in particular, but it was also all of them. Yeah. There's, there's actually lots of anime and manga and JRPGs with the best friend, having a best friend who has a crucial difference in the way they wish to achieve their goals that results in them becoming a, a huge villain. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and buy the astronaut. It felt felt real Legend of Dragoon? Yeah, it's all of them. Some version of it happened in all of them. I was not talking about his dark materials. I was I was changing the subject. I was talking about and then his Julia dark materials. Julia brought the subject back again. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you haven't read uh, his dark materials, you know I may highly recommend it. It's your favorite. I'm not biased, but I highly recommend. Suck me, boy. <laughs> Suck me, boy. Oh. <laughs> we. Thank you. The um, the sheer number of JRPGs being listed that fit your format that fit the format is um, evidence to my profound truth. I can only carry one at a time. Didn't I pick one up? <laughs> what kind of data cubes you rocking with right now? Do I got any data cubes on me? I do have, I have a data cube, it seems. Someone in chat said I wasn't allowed to read it as a child because of the God murdering, which I find like really funny because it implies that you might get the wrong idea and then murder God yourself. <laughs> you might kill a bunch of children like, to open the gateway if, to another what universe. If my child gets inspired by this book and then goes and kills God. Like the parents were like hand wringing about this. They were like, oh, no, no. This might be a negative influence on my child. What if my child kills God? Where the hell is the fabricator? It's the other way. His Dark Materials, ironically, has basically like my favorite 
or what I find to be like the most comforting view of what happens after you die. Which I'm pretty sure Philip Pullman doesn't believe anything happens to you after you die. You just die. You just stop. Not to speak for Philip Pullman, but. Get Philip Pullman on the stream. Are you Discord friends with him? I would barf if you got him on stream. <laughs> he would also barf. like fight everyone. It would be great. That makes him sound absolutely crazy. Like Philip Pullman enters the stream, you start vomiting, and then he starts <laughs> one by one eliminating every chatter in the Twitch stream. <laughs> if you release him from his prison. <laughs> Philip Pullman has been sealed away because he was too powerful. He'll only fight you if you're a politician. It's fine. He got lost in his own power. He um he was really active on Twitter for a while. I think he stopped being so active because he um fought a lot of politicians and a lot of like anti-trans writers and comedians. Um And I think he just decided he should stop fighting with everyone for a while. I mean, I agree in that fighting with someone on Twitter is um, t truly one of life's just most miserable experiences. Yes. What the hell? Why am I getting so many of these? And all the enemies I'm getting are flying. Yeah, one day Philip Pullman had a bunch of questions about like the trans community and and things that he like just didn't understand and he was asking like very earnestly and then the next day he was fighting a bunch of politicians <laughs> with pro trans strat stats um St pro strats. trans strats <laughs> <laughs> he asked the trans community to get get all of their best strats <laughs> how do you fight and he folded those strats into his own move yeah. set yeah yeah <laughs> and then when he went to fight the politicians he was doing moves they had never seen before Something people don't know about when you trans your gender mm -hmm. is that you also gain the ability to do the raging demon like Akuma from Street Fighter. Yeah. And so that becomes like a predominant strategy for, for trans folks is to just raging demon their ass. Damn, now I understand why people are so upset with them because that's an OP strat. Yeah. You basically like lure them into blocking mm -hmm. and then like cancel your attack into a raging demon mm -hmm. and it'll it'll get them every time. Uh oh, that sucks. <laughs> Trans strats are human strats. <laughs> Trans Excellent. strats is so funny to me. <laughs> oh God. not where are you because it does make it seem like speed running oh god mamma mia whoa that's a lot of bullets yeah it's the stupid green boys please don't please don't please don't please don't this please give me fuel give me fire give me that which i desire ah! give me daba daba za not even up there oh god yeah, no. i'm trying to stay away Freaking from him squidden because i have that big boy also Squid chasing city. me city this is what happens to the kids from splatoon if they're allowed to grow up. They try to kill God. That's why they have to participate in the war games <laughs> to cull the population of squid kids. Lightning! Haha. <laughs> Uh, 
That's a pretty good gun. Ads are gonna start soon. Should we just run them now? Sure. We, have we got a very nice message in chat from a first time live viewer who stayed up just to, to thank us for making lovely videos. Oh, here, thank here you. And on Droppy. Oh, did they say that they were a returnal dev? What? Droppy have one returnal dev as a viewer. What is, the heck? Is this you? Are you a returnal dev? That's freaking sick if so. I, amazing work on an incredible game. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this game. Thank you so much for, for coming and saying such nice things and also for making a dang good game. Yeah, it is. We got confirmation. That's so Hell cool. Hell yeah. Thanks for staying up to come in and say hi. That's awesome. I almost I kept knocked getting, my beer over in excitement. <laughs> I, we kept getting requests to come back to this because people were liking it so much. Yeah. I love this game, so I was excited that people were into it. And a lot of people in chat seem to be playing it and enjoying it too. I keep seeing people say that they Oh yeah, someone in the beginning said streams. that they Yeah, they bought it and, and beat it because oh yeah, one hundred percent of this game. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so Lots much. Lots of good gamers. I think about this game quite a lot. You never know who's a secret dev for your favorite games and lurking in chats. That's very true. Yeah. More true than I would have expected going into streaming. That's true, yeah. How many times a dev would end up in the chat? And it's like, oh my God. Yeah. You you did this. You did this. You did this. You I'm made this cool thing. It. I'm playing it, but you did it. Um, Now that we've complimented you, can you go into the code and make the the baby boss i was gonna call him boss baby but he's more of the boss of the babies can you make him easier but make it look like it's really hard but make it like easier for this yeah back channel into the code and help julia yeah can you hack into the mainframe and the ads are about to run right now can you hack into the mainframe and make it make it um easier the for ads me? are running <laughs> it's you you've lost your time damn Sadly, I'm an animator and can't code. <laughs> <laughs> Animate him to be really big and yeah. just stay there. And he does this. Remove the animation. Um, I'm going to read some subs. Okay. We got subs from Gradient Jump Scare, Action Bear Snack Jackson, JW, Good Vibes City, A Clockwork Hound, Snooks Bleeding, Candy Bat, Bell of the Bog, BioLumi221, Evelyn Sometimes, Lil Gator, Tori Atats, Boxy13, Roses That Weep, Simfing 12, Yikes MK, Spunky Tank, Little Old Bear, Slurra G, Elder Scroll PDF, Arc Teal Games, Boy Howdy 1, 2, 3, 3 Minus 1, Moonshot Network, Come Sweet Diabetes, Slorts, Lavender Ghost 0410, Sophie Cake, Seaweed B, Mr. Lucidity, Clashly, Clashly 25, The Kit 10666, Mellow Toaster, Professor Rad gave out five gifted subs. Thank you, Professor Rad. Bunny Pirates, Squee Potatoes, Ravenstone Coven, Jizton Bieber, Kai Kitty 98, Cardboard Spaceship, Rick Ochet 008, Glass for Bats, Shalrond gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Hindever, Sid is not vicious, Augie Froggy gave out two gifted subs. Tsuke Chick, Bognosticator, A Bagel 145, the gays know. That was a name, not just me being cryptic in the middle of <laughs> reading subs. Throne 5, Lightning Leonin, Joe Crazy Face, Room Full of Lesbian Vampires. Mime Town gave out five gifted subs. Soda Pants gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you both so much. Adrian B, Smallish K, Honkin' Hondas, Robo Tank, Imagine Birds, Stroke of Midnight, Faku in Twitch. I feel like I say that one wrong every time. I don't know if it's Fasu or Faku. I'll keep an eye on know. the chat. S Papa Zappa. Suave Peanut. Gideon the DM. Twinkle Dinkicious. Cowboy Anarchy. Back to the top. Back to the Back top. To the top. Back, Back to the top. Back, Back to the top. top. Back to the top. Grantonio, one brunch man. You should go to more brunches. You don't need to do just one. Heroin Dolls, The Tater Thought, JT Barnett, Kirby Gord, Ape Escape for the PS1, Narrow Wind. 
extra pulpy juice. Thank you. Someone just proposed to me in chat. I am already married. What I the apologize. hell? You proposed to my wife in my <laughs> chat while I'm looking? I apologize. Oh, hold me back. <laughs> hold me back. The baseball boy hold is upset. Back. Where's my baseball bat and my baseball ball? <laughs> my baseball ball. And my baseball helmet. Hold me back. Chat, hold me back. Chat, you got to hold me back. Someone, as you were saying, hold me back, said get his ass. Chat. Hold me back. Chat. Chat, hold me like, back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Someone proposed to me. Hold Julia back. Hold us both hold back. Hold me back. Hold us back. Hold me back. Hold us back. Hold me back. Hold us both back. Hold me back. Hold us hold us each other hold back. Hold back. We're holding each other hold back. back. <laughs> nah, get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh what is going on if you have to ask what's going on you know it's our stream yep basically you know you've come to the right place i'm not gonna you're not gonna help the ghosts Nah. no you got a mission today i do have a mission today i feel like we've spent a lot of this yeah i'm getting emotional a lot of the stream talking and gotta not make a lot up for of wasted time. I don't want to go through the the scary. I mean, you were gaming while we were talking. What? We were doing both. What? You're doing both. What? I love this room. Except for when these guys pop out. Oh, they didn't. Usually, there's some dudes that pop up. I was just reminded, looking at this big guy. Just you, you were talking about that game recently. Ah, he got me. Sorry. How did he get you? Well, cause I, I called him to be over there and then he wasn't, you know uh... what I mean? And then he was like, hey, now I'm here. I'm slashy knees. Sorry, you, continue. You were telling me about that game, Fear and Hunger. Yeah. And then I was saying that I had watched videos about it, mm -hmm. but that I didn't think I was gonna play it. Cause yeah. Cause it looks like a miserable time. Mm hmm well, I just watched today because Super Eye Patch will put out a full video about fear and hunger. Right. Yeah, it was really good. I'll watch it. About how much he uh, was obsessed with it. Hated it and was obsessed with it. It seems like it would really stress me out. I don't think it's a game for me either. No. It's a game I want to watch someone else play. Yeah, I really, it's one of those that I really like looking at other people interact with because I think the aesthetics of it are so sick. Yeah. It's like so nasty and upsetting. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely unstreamable because it's got a lot of wieners in it. Oh, there was a game I really wanted to play on stream. And then I looked at the comments and everyone was like, make sure to take pictures of the penis monster. And I was like, maybe not. Maybe we can't. Although in the video, he did say that there someone released a mod that edited all of the penises out. Oh. So that it could be like a streamer mod, basically, so that you could stream the game without yeah. having any TOS. Even like the game I was talking about was a different game with a penis monster in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. Fear and Hunger still. I wish they would do that for this one that I, that I want to play. Well, what's the one you want to play? I forgot what it's called. Path of something it's a co-op game we were going through like a horror scenario or something path yeah. of something i mean i can i'll look it up when we get to add i mean break. persona does also have a penis monster because it. it's That's in my wish true. list it's definitely not path of exile no I feel like there have not been many games I bounced off of quite as hard as Path of Exile. I tried to play it and I got to like one teensy smidgen's worth of the complexity of mm -hmm. the game and I just uninstalled it immediately. It was like it had put up an anti-Jacob barrier and shot me away. 
But I hear people really love it when they get into it. Ow! God, I hate you, laser boy. He was a laser boy. He said, I'm a laser boy. He said, Bzzz. He said, Bzzz. I tried playing last epoch. Ep epoch. 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 Epcot. Epcot. Last Epcot. I tried playing that one too, and I also bounced off of that one as well. It was it was way too much loot. What is this? I don't like it when it's too much loot. I don't really care for this. Oh, I did play Blasphemous. That was a good upsetting game. I really liked Blasphemous until I got to like one part that really annoyed me and then I stopped playing. Ow. Oh, phantom Limb, yes. Give me Phantom Limb. Is Phantom Limb good? Mm-hmm. There's like a 10% or there's a... Whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance of getting health back. Love getting health back. Yeah. <laughs> Julia! What the hell? I was expecting that to light up, but it didn't. That so I just stood there. So I was mashing triangle to grapple over there. Instead, I just got shot by every laser. That was like the saddest performance I've ever seen. Just laser than laser. I mean, they are they are coming pretty hard and fast. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How stupid can I be today? Please? That was literally Thank one you. of the things I said you were going to be saying when you played this game. <laughs> I was doing an impression of Julia playing this game, and that yeah. was one of the things I said. As, yeah, that's true. I just lost so much health. And I lost my astronaut. Which is really stupid. I lost my astronaut to nothing. I lost my astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> In chat, someone said, How are you so bad at this game? In parentheses, I can't get past the first level of any game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a scout log. Today the wind is gasping. This Willem Billum? Oh, sorry. 63 years and eight days for me to die. Our cursed fate. While Atlas bore and Prometheus endured, Selene hollowed. From here, I can see where the horizon becomes the edges of my eye. I don't want to become this person. That's fair. What were you going to say? It was just someone said that we had inspired them to... Um, start exercising and cooking more. Oh, cool. And I was going to say, good for you. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, yeah. It can be very fun and rewarding to do both things. If you do it at a pace and rate that works well for you, it's, it's nothing but positives, baby. I hate working out. But I do it anyway, and while we were out yesterday, I just kept thinking about how strong my knees feel, which my knees have always been pretty bad. We, so, we take improvements. Any improvements? Well, the improvements we are really like what's... I was really just working out because I knew that I should. And then... I saw improvements in my joints, and I was like, I should keep doing this. I saw a very funny message that said, I started working out again recently, and it helps my mental health and joint pain so much, which is very annoying. <laughs> That's basically how Julia feels. Yes. <laughs> I'm, like, inconvenienced by how much it helps me. Because I'm like, dang it, I really should keep up with it. Because you don't want to do it. I like doing <laughs> sports. I hate working out. I find working out to be very boring. And the repetitiveness of it makes me really irritated for some reason. 
Some people are asking what are good workouts to do if you have joint pain, because apparently a lot of people also have joint pain. And I'm, I should say that neither of us are, uh, are trainers. Yeah. So, you know, you can take any advice with a grain of, of uh, salt. I do low impact stuff. But yeah, you want to do things that are very low impact and, and take it very slowly. And once you start feeling pain, yes. then you, you stop. And so you want to like basically, like say you're doing like, you know, some like just body weight squats, like shallow squats are a good way to start. Um, you just do them slowly and, and with as best form as you can. And if you start feeling even a twinge of pain, then you stop and you just build up very slowly over time. Yeah, it's also like my arms are stronger than my joints. Like the muscles in my arms are stronger than the tendons around my joints. So uh, I have to do lower weight. So I don't get like as tired as I would if I like maxed out how much weight I could do. But I have to like build up my joints first, then I can build up the muscle. And I'm finding that like I can do more and more. I was seeing a, a personal trainer in chat was said something about checking out knees over toes guy. They said they were like a like a personal trainer of some kind. Their message went away. But that could be a good uh, a good recommendation. The knees over toes guy is on YouTube. How to start improving bad knees right now. I do a little bit of squats all the time. Not all the time, every day. Interesting. Tick anus said over the past year, I lost 65 pounds and packed on a bunch of muscle. Slow and steady is great. I had to start with 15 minute walks three times a week. That's awesome. That's a great way to start. Just like short walks are one of the best ways to just like get to doing something on a schedule. Yeah, I've been doing more walks, more long walks recently. And I that's think been that, helping. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, that's fine, go ahead. I think that, um, cause I think about this a lot when I like talk to people that really hate, you know, and, and obviously some people can't do these various things for various reasons, but mm -hmm. this is more for like, if you are capable of doing it and can and want, and you know, there's part of you that wants to, I think, um, the place where most people go wrong is trying to do too much too quickly mm. and being like, okay, I'm going to work out. So I'm setting a schedule five days a week, one hour of weightlifting every day, five days a week, no, no exceptions. And then like you do one week and like you end up so sore, you want to die and like burnt out and you just feel like shit and yeah. then you'll like never want to do it again. It'll like put you off for so long. If you start with something that's like really easy for you to do regularly, it's just, just to start the habit. Yeah. If it's like once a week, I walk for 10 minutes, like something you can like definitely do. It's like so much easier to like slowly build on off of that rather than. Yeah. Well, it's like you want to build the, the routine and habit of working out so that it feels less like you're trying to do everything all at once. Um, so getting into the habit of doing all these things as a first step is great because then you're just used to being like, all right, like 6 p.m. time for me to work out or, you know, whatever. God damn. Yeah. All right. This run is a wash, I guess. Because I died to those lasers. Maliciously apathetic said I get frustrated that I think it was them that said I get frustrated that I I don't feel like I'm making a lot of progress. I feel that. Yeah, you kind of have to change your whole mindset away from I'm doing this to make progress and I'm looking for the progress. You want to change it from that to this is just something I do. Like at these times, like you don't think about the progress at all. Only think about doing the thing as like part of your day. I'm sorry that you lost, Julia. Thank you.
Yeah, it's more like I... Like, the thing that helps me is just being proud that I did the workout that day. Yeah, totally. And not, like... Just knowing that... Because I, I hate work... I truly hate working out so much that forcing myself to work out feels impossible. So every time I do work out, I'm like... I did it. It's yeah, out of the way. You should be self-congratulatory when you do it, but also don't beat yourself up if you miss. Yeah. If you miss a day. Because my routine is basically like, my goal is to do it three times a week. Because that's... Um, Mondays are our big record and stream days. Uh, Tuesday, I have French class. Then I have like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I can work out. And uh, then I have the weekend where I can truly just relax. And so my goal is to do it three times a week. But then, like, if something happens on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday that keeps me from being able to work out, like a bunch of meetings popped up or something big happened, I'm going to be like, well, it just didn't happen. And, like, something happened to keep me from working out, and that's okay. Like... It yeah. wasn't for, it wasn't just because I was like, nah, I just don't want to. Yeah, the idea is you want to formulate a situation where you only associate positive emotions with whatever it is that you're doing. So like you want to avoid thinking like the negative thinking if things don't go your way with it, because then you'll start associating negativity with the act of working out and then you won't want to do it anymore. Same thing with like art practice. I saw someone else saying it in chat too, but I give the same advice for art that I do for working out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is that if you want to practice, just try doing like a really easy amount of practice a week that you know you can do. And then as soon as you like are not enjoying it or having fun or starting to feel negatively about it, then just stop. Only do it when you're feeling good about it. And then you'll uh, start to only associate positive thoughts with it. But yeah, it's tough. It's really tough to like get going on something like that if uh, for a variety of reasons, depending on your situation. But mostly if you try to be kind to yourself about it with anything that you do, um, you'll, you know, look back two years later and be like, whoa, I did make a ton of progress. Yeah. It was just like impossible because the thing is, you'll never see the progress day to day. No. Like it's not visible to you. It's only visible to you after like a long period of time has passed. So really the only thing that matters is just like finding a way to do it, do something consistently, no matter what you're doing. If it's working out or practicing art or practicing anything you want to do. But this is something I always feel so strongly about. Mm -hmm. Working out's good for you. Not even just working out, I mean like any sort of self-improvement that revolves around yeah. consistent work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking about the game while I was oh, talking. Yeah. You're fine. Um, <clears throat> it's... I feel like it's also good to have like the self-discipline of... Or like to learn the skill of forming a habit that is good for you and doesn't necessarily earn you something immediately. Um, because that is such a useful skill to bring in with many other things. Um, cause then it gets easier to do that with anything like art practice or working out or writing every day or, you know, whatever it is that you want to get better at. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's good for you. I've definitely noticed that for me as well over time. I used to have much worse procrastination than I do now. Yeah. Because it's something I've been like slowly, slowly working on improving for like literally my entire life. But when I was a kid, I was like the most horrible procrastinator imaginable. And now I, I still procrastinate. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I'll procrastinate for like a day where mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'm just not doing it today. But then the next day I'll actually do it. <laughs> And so that's like way better than I used to be by a large margin. Because it used to be that I would just keep kicking that can down the road. But I've very slowly been crawling out of the procrastination pit. 
I, uh, I was a really big procrastinator as a kid, believe it or not. Uh, I just never did my homework. I never, I was basically like a straight D student until high school. Uh, where then I kind of learned how to, you know, discipline myself and make myself do things. Um, it's definitely like a skill you have to like hone. Uh, and it's not easy. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think what was helpful was watching my dad and my brother who, you know, I've said it before, but they both have really severe ADD. Um, and seeing my brother like still show up on time to things, still get all of his stuff done and in on time was really impressive to me. Also, like, my dad, too. My dad's really good at, uh, school. He said as a kid he was terrible, but he, like, learned how to work with his ADD to, you know, make it work for him. Or make it work with him. Yeah, totally. Uh, it just took him a while to figure it out. Uh, so I was like, man, they can do it. And they got that going on. I can figure it out for me. I can figure out a system that works for me. Yeah, it's always like slightly different for everyone too, which is yeah the problem. <laughs> it yeah. all like depends on your own personal stuff. The thing that truly helped me with working out was not putting pressure on it because I I won't do I won't not do something because I'm lazy. Like that's never an excuse that I kind of use for something because I'm not like a, a I wouldn't consider myself a lazy person. Um. But I think I skipped a lot of workouts because I put so much pressure on, like, you know, wanting to do more than I could or not being able to lift as much as I, as much as my joints would allow, which is something I, like, beat myself up about kind of a lot. Um, just having messed up joints. Oh, my God, there was an enemy in front of him? Come on. Give me a break, man. Um, but, and then, like, also, I just grew up with a lot of, um, competitive. My family's very competitive with sports and things. Um, not my direct family, but like my aunts and my uncles are really competitive. My dad's really competitive. Um, so there was this, always this pressure of like, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it so you can win. Um, which is not good to go in, especially, or go in with, especially when you have bad joints. Yeah, I, I remember we had to like slowly retrain Julia's brain. Yes. Over the whole time we've we've been dating, I'll never forget like the first few times where I was like, "Oh, you should just you can work out with me. We'll work out together." And I was so excited. I was like, "This is gonna be fun." And yeah. then like we started, and I've never seen a person like look more abjectly miserable than Julia. Like the whole time we were working out, she had this look on her face like, yeah, she just wanted to die. And I, I was like, oh, no, there's something going on here that I don't know about. <laughs> there's some, like, feelings tied up in this for sure. I truly hate <laughs> working out so much. So when we started working out together, I, um, uh, like, I had coped with it for a while with just, like, putting myself mentally elsewhere um, and just not thinking about it. But it's hard to pull that off when you're working out with someone else who is like trying to engage with you on the thing. And I'm like, don't interact with me. I'm <laughs> it's like, don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I don't want to be here. And I'm mentally, I'm thinking about something else. I'm over here like trying to like high five. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, nice set. Yeah. Up top. And I'm like, no. Like you could do it. Um, but you, you've truly like come so far. Yeah. With like your mentality around it since then. Well, now I, I do truly just blank out, but I'm less, like, miserable and more just, like, I just have to, like, get the thing done. Yeah. As opposed to, like, I hate this. Well, when I go in there now when you're working out, you just look, like, normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember going swimming with some of my cousins, and, like, one of my family members was, like, and, you know, we were all just playing because we were, like, 16 or something. And someone in my family was like, what are you doing? Why aren't you doing laps? Come on. 
well, I'm gonna time you. Let's get the best lap time in. And I was like, we were literally like with floaties, like playing with a ball. Like we're <laughs> playing like pool volleyball. Like, like, I don't want water polo. Let's go. Well, they were like, I'm gonna time you. Go swim laps. Do five laps. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't wanna. I just wanna relax. Yep. <laughs> Isn't it funny how everything just comes back to something that happened in childhood? Yeah. You gotta like slowly re reborn yourself as an adult. I do. By like digging back through all that stuff and being like, oh shit we can leave that one thank we're gonna, you we're gonna try to leave that one behind i think and maybe we'll try to move forward without it i do love that family member so much but this was like the one thing where the two of us were just like very different and then also when i was a kid i was like super competitive in soccer and basically every sport that i did which was soccer and i used to do a lot of climbing and um just like a lot of different sports and every single one of them I would throw myself entirely in and I think this is why I have bad knees and ankles soccer being a soccer goalie yeah well you also had the double whammy of being way underweight and malnourished because of your you know yeah. eating or swallowing problems eating and swallowing eating problems. and swallowing problems here's a scout log it might be the oppressive heat, but I keep catching myself glancing over my shoulder, only to find shadows and the astronauts staring back. Whenever I try to reach them, I find myself in a sandstorm. I can't seem to stop this from happening. I barked because it was a scout log and Julia's dog's name is Scout. Yeah. Someone in chat asked why I barked, which is a fair question. If you didn't know. My parents have a, what we suspect is a Chihuahua Terrier. And we named him Scout. He's a nervous little dog. He's very sweet. Scout's a good pup. He is a good puppy. He never wants to be without my dad. But that means whenever my dad has to do like a long drive somewhere. Uh... They, he, uh, Scout goes along, but Scout gets car sick, and he'll be car sick for like two days. But like I said, nervous little, nervous little doggy. Oh my god, can we stop? Stop it. Stop it. You know what's another, um, here's another, another work tip workout slash work tip mm -hmm. it only works if you're doing something where you can be watching something else at the same time which you can do when you're working out often but sometimes what i'll do when i start getting like burned out on on doing like workouts because i do a lot of like videos and stuff where i'm like following along with the videos mm. but sometimes i get sick of that and like i don't really feel like doing it at all and so instead i'll just like go on YouTube, find like a few workouts, write them all out with like the timings and everything. And then I'll just like watch like YouTube videos I'm excited about while I'm working out. And then my brain starts associating that time with like, oh, I've been saving that long video essay. Oh yeah. For when my next workout is. And now I, now I get to watch it finally. <laughs> and so I just get psyched to like watch like an hour and a half video essay. Not that I work out for an hour and a half straight, but you know mm -hmm. what I mean. And yeah. I do that with drawing sometimes too. I'll like sit down to practice and be like, oh baby, time to put that video on. I have been doing that lately with Fringe. I'm like, oh yeah, if I like, I have all those assets I need to do. I just like watch Fringe with it, it's great. What is it with men and video essays? I don't think it's just men. No, I watch a lot of video essays too. I was literally thinking earlier today that I want to see if there's a video or a good video essay about Seventh Heaven. 
because I've never seen it, and I've been seeing this dude talk about insane episodes of that show, and I'm so curious about what the hell any of that was about. Watching video essays about shows you've never watched is always a real treat. Oh, uh, the Jenny Nicholson special. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm like, several hours about Vampire Diaries? Sure. Several hours about the Land Before Time movies when I don't think I've seen a single Land Before Time? Sure. Yep, yep. <laughs> Why not? I love that. I watched a whole thing about... Um, what... Carly, iCarly. Never seen iCarly before in my life. I watched two very long video essays about iCarly. It's just funny to experience something through another person. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, also like- More fun than like watching the thing. Their perspective makes it fun because now I like, I've watched so many videos about Glee. I don't think I would like Glee, but watching the insanity of Glee through someone else, very interesting. Yeah, it's really fun. Like retroactively, it's great. Yeah, I was watching like a three hour video about Skies of Arcadia, mm -hmm. the Dreamcast JRPG that I never got around to playing and I'm definitely not gonna play now. Yeah. But it's like I get to sort of experience it without having to actually play it. What a delight. Oh god. I heard someone. Ah! <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Alright, well. There's something I have to contend with now. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over there, huh? Oh, no, you're not. There's a, um, it might not be new, but I've only recently been noticing them, I guess. Maybe they are fairly new. Like, basically a genre of video essays mm -hmm. where the person, whoever it is, who has the channel will be like, I read, like, the first 10 chapters of, like, 40 different manga that chat recommended to me, mm -hmm. essentially. And it's just them like talk going through like all these different manga they started and like giving their thoughts or like if they'd recommend diving into it or not. Mm -hmm. I've been really liking those. Yeah, that sounds good. Because often there's like lots of cool stuff I wouldn't have known about otherwise. I just read all of Kubo. Cute. It's a cute time. Tite Kubo? Tite Kubo, yeah. The maker of Bleach? I do love Tite Kubo's art style. Writing? Maybe not so much. What is it, Miss Olive? What is it? She just wants love all the time. Olive has gotten so attention hungry, power hungry. <laughs> She's becoming too powerful for sure. She just like has realized that she can demand attention. So she'll walk into the room and like cute, cutely meow at you. And then if you ignore her, she like trots up behind her. You hear a little footsteps. <laughs> and then you look at her and she just goes, hey! <laughs> her whole face. She does face. Very, very forceful meows. She's like, pay attention to me now! She's like upset that you've ignored her. Someone has recommended to me the Empress of Salt and Fortune book. I think... I think I've read that. I think you have, because it sounds familiar to me. But there's a lot of fantasy books that are a blank of blank and blank. That's true. I gotta look and see if I've read it. 
Oh, I hate this room a lot, huh? I have read it. It's in my library. It says red. I've not read the second one, though. Apparently there's a second one. I remember liking it, but I read this like a while ago, I think, so I don't really remember anymore what it's even about. You ever read so many fantasy books you don't even remember which ones you've read? No. Just me? Share that Goodreads account. I don't really, I mean, I have a Goodreads account, but I don't, I haven't used it in like years. I was just seeing what was in my Kindle. Like, not even in the correct world. Disable all turrets. A lot of people recommending Story Graph for logging your books as opposed to Goodreads. It's a good option if people are looking, in, looking to do something like that. I always try to start logging the stuff that I, like, watch and read, and I, I fall off, like, immediately. That's, I would say, not um, in... I, I could never imagine you logging anything consistently. No offense. I mean, that's you're right. Yeah, but it's like, like not something you like doing. Do you know how sometimes you delude yourself into thinking you could be a different kind of person <laughs> than the person you are? Yeah. You're like, I know that I don't like doing this, but like, what if I was the kind of person who did like doing it? Yeah. And then you like have to try and see if you could be that kind of person. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes Astronaut. the answer is no. <laughs> it's just, you know, it was, you, you missed on this one. You aren't that kind of person. Yeah. Still not that kind of person. I got another astronaut. I'm very excited. Obolite Where am repository. I going? I'm going that way. You gotta go up into the sky. It according seems like to it. according to that marker. I wish I just found you know what? Can I go back? <laughs> Can I go back to the other world? I might actually do that. Is that boring? I'm sorry. There should be like a shortcut if I go back to the first world. I think I just didn't find it. That's okay. We have better equipment now anyway. I saw some people saying mm -hmm. that they, they did that to trick themselves into liking food that they just wanted to like but didn't like. And then other people saying you can't do that with food. It doesn't work. It's worked for me. I've definitely been able to like a food that I didn't like because I just kept eating it. Uh, I've definitely done that. I mean, I've done it a lot of times, actually. <laughs> your taste buds change as you grow. That's true. But I, I, I think it's there was some time when I was like, I don't know, like a late teen or something where I decided that I just wasn't I was going to stop modifying any order that I got at a restaurant. Oh. Like if I order something, I don't I you I mean, you've have you ever seen me ask for a modification on an order? No, I literally never do it. I was just like, I'm just not gonna modify and whatever they give me, I'm just gonna eat it and like see how it goes. <laughs> it's true that anytime we go anywhere and you're like, oh, I was really hoping to get this thing. And I'm like, well, you could ask for this. And you're like, nah. No. 
I'm like, all right. But the reason I wanted to do it is because I wanted to like expand my palate. I like wanted to try to like eat things I didn't know about. Right. And um, it worked. Like sometimes I would just find something and be like, well, I didn't think this would be good, but it's actually incredible. Yeah. Other times I'd be like, you know, I didn't think this would be good and I actually don't like it very much. But, you know, that's it, then then my taste buds like log that info. And then later they're like, I remember that flavor. I'm going to like it a little more now. But I don't know why it was important to me to do that. I, don't know. I usually only modify an order if I literally cannot eat the thing. Yeah. Um, or there, I just don't get it. There's nothing wrong with asking for alterations, I should also say. Yes, we're not we're not shaming no one. Yeah. I, just, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm calling them out. Yeah. It's just one of those random things. That, that was one of the times where I thought, could I be the person mm -hmm. that doesn't ask for any modifications? And then I tried it, and it turns out I could be that person. Yeah. Some people I can't be, but that person I could be. When I was a kid, here's a crazy story. When I was a kid, I didn't like ravioli. That's so crazy. Isn't that weird? Because you love ravioli. I love ravioli. The little pockets of cheese. I keep going the wrong direction. Sorry, everyone. I keep... No, not this way, you dumbass. Where am I going? It can't be this way. I actually have a, a long and storied history of... Um, just spontaneously deciding that I was going to do something a different way now and then literally just like never like doing it and never returning to how I did it before. Yeah. When I was a kid, my mom loves to tell this story because I was like sucking my thumb. Like I had like a, you know, thumb sucking I want to say addiction <laughs> when you're a kid. I guess it's not, habit. I guess it is an addiction, but well, it's like a habit when you're a kid. Yeah. But you know, it was like past the time when I was supposed to stop doing it, but I was right. still doing it. And so she was like trying to get me to stop. And then like, I told her that like on my next birthday, I would stop sucking my thumb. Yeah. And then that birthday came and I literally just stopped doing it forever. And like, she said she would sometimes see me when I was sitting alone and I would start to bring my thumb to my mouth and then I would look at it and frown and then put it back down again. <laughs> but yeah. like, I don't know why. There's some things that I could just for some reason be like, well, I've given my word. Well, you have the habit of just being like, I've decided this and that's it for now. Like that, that's it forever. Like you telling your mom or your mom saying like, you know, when you turn this age, I'll get you a dog. And you're like, Jacob will remember this. And then it became oh, yeah. your birthday and you were like, where's my dog? Yeah, she told me that when I was like a toddler. And it was like five years later. But I remembered. And it hit my birthday and I was like, I believe you owe me something. Yeah. Where is the puppy? I have waited the appropriate amount of time. And you owe me something. Also, when I was a teen, I used to have a, a mini fridge in my room that was just filled with soda at all times. And I would just drink soda constantly. And then I like learned from somewhere that maybe soda is actually like not that good for you. Mm -hmm. And I just stopped drinking soda entirely. I didn't have any soda for years. Just one day I just stopped and I just didn't. I just drank water only for like three or four years. And uh, I still don't drink soda. Like, I have it occasionally now, but. And I did the same thing with. I can't go back. With, uh, with snacking. Mm. When I, like, lived on my own, I was like, I don't remember even why I did it. I think it was just because I didn't feel like maintaining my pantry. Right, okay. Like spending the money on snacks. And so I was like, I'm just going to eat my like three meals a day and I'm just not going to eat anything in between those meals. And then I just altered my lifestyle entirely from that point forward. Snacks and soda were the mark to me that I was an adult, funnily enough. Because when I was a kid... Uh, my parents would buy one packet of cookies 
and um, for, they would buy one packet of cookies for the week in a family of four. And I've, you know, I'm an older brother who's like four years older than me. I meant to jump. Um, and we would have to make it the week because also my family was on like food stamps and things. So, and I don't think cookies were covered in food stamps. So that would be stuff that would come out of like, you know, my parents' pocket money. Um, so we had to like, you know, leave enough for everyone in the family to have some and, um, you know, have a little treat for yourself throughout the week. And then soda we would only get on Friday night with pizza night. So the fact that I had to so tightly control the, the cookie and soda rations, um, once I became an adult, I was like, it hit me that I could have soda and cookies whenever I wanted. Yeah, it's like a totally opposite scenario. Yeah. So then I would just enjoy the freedom of being able to have that when I wanted with my own money. Uh, and that was fun. And now I'm like, you know, I've adjusted. I've come out the other side. I would have a two cookie limit a day when I was a kid. Couldn't have more than two if you're going to have any at all. And I've kind of gone back to that a little bit. I feel like you generally have two cookies per day. Yeah, with like my coffee. Yeah, you have two cookies with your coffee. Yeah. And I mean, maybe you have a third cookie if it's a trying day. If it's a trying day, <laughs> later, I have a third later cookie. In the day, you know, walk in there, head hung low <laughs> 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 to pull out the third cookie. <laughs> yeah. When I see the third cookie, I know. I know it's a struggle. You know, it's a day. Yeah, Where it's a tough am I one. Going? Secret fourth cookie that Jacob is yet to witness. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a fourth cookie come out, I'm taking her to the hospital. I'm like something's wrong. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> he calls my therapist. <laughs> She's therapy stat. I should say too that like these weird behaviors of mine that I like freakishly altered instantaneously and never went back. Yeah. For some reason, like with those things, I did that and it like was not a problem for me. But I cannot do that with anything. I do not have that power unilaterally. I've tried so hard to build habits in so many different ways and just failed just repeatedly. I've never built a consistent art practice habit and I've tried so many times <laughs> to do it. I mean, I still draw a lot because it's my job, but do you like this perfume contest, uh, concert? Perfume concert? Perfume concert? Yeah, that Japanese trio, tech trio, perfume. Oh. I know They now. performed I at Coachella. what you mean. Um, this is what I was talking about. I was talking about a while ago that Returnal has taught me how to take my problems in steps because for a while, mazes like this would present itself and I was like, oh, I'm gonna die. And then you just got to do it one laser at a time. Or just like run as fast as you can and hope for the best. No, you got it. It's easy. This is freaking easy. You can't hope for the best in Returnal. Easiesville. I got hit on the way out. It hit my ass. It's just occurred to me right now that the the unifying theme and what I can and can't change about my habits is that I can stop doing just about anything. But starting something, that's where the struggle is. You know, this makes a lot of sense. I'm really good at stopping. Yeah. <laughs> I can, you you get, tell me to stop doing something, I'll stop doing it. He's all about it. Love stopping. The less this boy's got to do, the happier he is. <laughs> Stop not practicing? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. The double negative. It's rewiring my brain. This is like I have how to I, practice. This is like how I tricked myself to start taking breaks a couple of years ago. Oh Holy my God. shit. I point blanked your ass. Yeah, you did. 
That's all right. I just left the room. I tricked myself into taking breaks by saying that it would help my work efficiency if I stopped working for periods of time. That is pretty smart and true. I mean, maybe not ah! true for you. But for most people, that's true. Well, you can't hit me through the door. That's cheating. Only I can use door strats. One straggler. Hey guys, wait up! Aw, oh, jeez. Do you like how much I missed that button? Would you say it was the hardest button to button? Do you remember that song? No, the first cut is the deepest. No, the white stripes. Huh? The hardest button to button. I don't know what you're talking about. The hardest button to button. Hmm. It's like one of their first big hits, aside from Seven Nation Army. You they mean even the had an iconic music video. The first song every bassist learns on the bass? I mean, it's a great song to learn. It is a great song to learn. Boom, boom, boom. It was that and the song from Kill Bill. Those are the first two songs I learned on the bass. We gotta get a bass. Yeah. I've had the desire to play bass for like a full year now. I love bass. But I don't own a bass or a bass amp. And we've already established that I don't practice very well. I mean, we can get that one from my parents' place, but it's very tiny. It's tiny? Yeah, it's a tiny bass. Is it like full length or is it like, like a child's bass? Uh, well, you had said that it was a tiny bass when you came over and started playing it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember. That's fair. Someone's munching. Where the hell is this exit, man? I don't remember if it was a, like a small base or like a short base or like a thin base. I really want to do more music stuff. Do it. Well, I'm trying. I'm just having a hard time finding the form of it that will make me do it. I need, oh, to, I need to have like a project. Yeah, you love to have like a, a goal. If I don't have a reason to do it, I just won't do it. A reason to start over now? Yeah. And unfortunately the reason is not you. Damn. Unless you pay me to make an album or something. <laughs> First cut is the <laughs> deepest. going man this sucks I wanted to end on a good note not a lost note you should go to the boss it's just my two cents two cents good PBS show about how to handle your money That's just a fact. It's a real show. It's a fun fact. What the hell, I don't want that. The episodes are also very short. They're about something very focused every time. What happened to that dev? Hey, dev, where am I going? 
these maps aren't randomly generated, right? They probably went to bed. They said they were European or whatever. Dev, where's the boss? Dev, go in the back back channel into the game. Please. And warp Julia to the boss, please. Please. I want to defeat the boss baby. The baby boss. Is this it? No. It's just another stupid story room. I'm sick of the story. I want to see you shoot the boss. I want to defeat the baby boss. The boss of the babies. Oh, wait, the dev is in chat. Oh. There's a shortcut up top at the entrance to the mountain. What? They said something else, too. I'd have to scroll up to see it, though. What the hell? Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me see what they said. They said, past the shop in the next room is the teleporter up. What? And then they said, there's also a shortcut up top at the entrance to the mountain. I like that I was joking, and yet, <laughs> <laughs> and yet we have a real answer. Thank you. What, what a life we have. Yeah, really. Where we get to play the video game, and if we have a problem, we get to just <laughs> yell, Deb. <laughs> And that could be a big baby. And have one of the game devs show can't up to, find the end twins. to personally Nintendo hotline our asses out of the problem we where's have. Where's the exit? <laughs> Dev! <laughs> where's the exit? I can't do it. It's too hard. <laughs> Wait, shop. I only accept backseating if you made the game. <laughs> yeah. Shop in the next room. What? I've never been this lost in this game before. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassing us in front of the dev. The dev is here watching, <sighs> face palming. Right now, they're probably screaming at the screen, being like, that's the wrong way. Yeah. Probably furious with me, yelling, screaming. All right, teleporter. So the way up. Where's the entrance to the mountain? South over there. I don't want to do the contaminated gate. Is it one of these? There's a shortcut by the entrance. There's a shortcut by the entrance. Oh my God. Yes, there is. How did I forget that? What is wrong with me? I don't know. The ads are running, by the what way. The hell? Okay, that's fine. We're not going to do anything interesting other than get out of here. Other than finally go to the shortcut by the entrance. Damn. It's hard out here for a Julia on Mars. Don't worry, chat. You're not missing anything. You're just missing running around. Running and gunning. Someone's already made God did not fan art. God did not. God did not. You made fan art. God did not. God did not. How stupid can I be? You know, when you're streaming sometimes, brain no work so good. Wait, where is it? Is it inside? I remember when I was playing Dark Souls 3, I got like super lost at a really obvious part for a really long time for no reason. Where's my shortcut? Is it that orb? No, this is the multiplayer orb.
Shortcut is at the beginning of the tower, not beginning of the biome. Beginning of the tower. Where's the tower? Oh, the tower. Is this the beginning of the tower? No. That is the beginning of the tower, isn't it? What area did I get lost in? I don't remember exactly. I think it was the area with those zombies that like barf on you. That's it. I literally looked at it went to go into it and walked away <laughs> Stupid. why are you walking away from it now to get health uh because ads aren't done yet oh don't get lost i'm not you i'm got, not gonna get you lost got 20 seconds don't get lost someone made a comment about how i'm really head empty and i was like i'm not head empty and then i proceeded to play this game and get lost like immediately like a million times. Sometimes the head, it's empty, but the heart is full. And that's what matters. I don't even know if my heart's full, man. The heart's empty too? Heart's empty too. The head's empty and the heart's empty? Yeah, ain't that messed up. All right, everyone's What's back full then? Bladder? My guts. With delicious sushi. Wow, we did it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All we had to do is walk through the thing. Sure did. Go get him. Sick him. There. God damn. I'm sorry, everyone. It's okay. This is the last time they'll have to deal with this. That's true. You have 25 minutes. What? Oh no. Remaining. Give me this. Give me this. Man, I love the visuals in this game. Yeah, they're so cool. Button. But button. Do you think you have what it takes to beat Boss Baby? My loadout right now, yes. Okay, that's what I like to hear. That's what we like to hear, chat. I have like a good gun. I have three health vials. Boss Baby's dead already. Doesn't even know it yet. I have one shield. It's pretty good. Pretty good combo of things. So as long as I'm not dumb, I think we can do it. You won't be dumb. Mm. You've been saving it. You've been saving your brain power for the boss baby. Man, the Hollow Seeker's the best gun. It's so satisfying. I'll go back here. See what we got. Another health. A little bit of HP, as the Brits say. Some HP. I guess the Australians also say it. It's true. The French say it when they want to be understood by English speakers. They say H like H. What do we say? We say H. In America, we say H instead of H. Oh, you say H in Australia? I thought I've heard Australians say H. HQ. Maybe I'm just uh, misremembering. You would probably know better than me, Draz. 
Actually, Draz, I think I disagree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they say H. Mm, no, I think I've watched one Australian program. Oh god. That's not what you want to say. Oh no. Watch out oh. for the big hole. Oh, that's fun. You don't want that perp? No. It's free perp. There are no baddies behind me, right? Wow, I really got lucky with that hole. Oh, those guys are like, oh, come on! Oh, jeez. I can't, I can't even get to you. I can't get her mirror. I only got these these big arms. I got these rings I can make. That's it. I don't have a parasite. <laughs> I don't believe in parasites. Get off of me. I don't believe in parasites. I'm 34. I've purged all my friends already. Damn. Get them. <laughs> Where do you go? Well, there. It's the room where I died last time. Yeah, it feels like don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> risky. Don't do anything extra. Yeah. You don't need to be I just, extra. I just want to get to the boss at this point. Get to the boss with all of your suit integrity intact. What if I get shot by the shine eye instead? Oh. Ah. The eyeball obelisks, I think, are my favorite. Not the orb depositors? Well, I mean, orb depositors in like a different uh -huh. category altogether. Yeah. Orb depositor is, is my one true love. Sorry. I don't want that even. Okay. You're number two in my heart <laughs> after orb depositor. Because you don't deposit any orbs. Yeah. Which is huge for me. Sad, really. I don't ask for much. Interesting. You know? I just ask for the occasional orb to be deposited. You gonna let him shoot. Blast them. Sword blast them. What the hell? Guys just walking around over there. Yeah, there's these like little harmless sentry dudes that walk around. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're chill. Yeah. You can kill them to get your weapon proficiency up. And if you have that thing that, you know, gives you a chance of regaining health, you can do that too. So you can just use them for your own gain. Yes. Selfishly. Yes. Correct. Thing up there. It's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. Where do you bring me? Special burpee room. Ooh, a vial of juice. I don't want that. That doesn't really help me. You do not want the juice. Well, it's just that my two slots right now are shield and health. <laughs> oh, the big boy's here. Oh, man. Oh, he just straight up came up there. Yeah, he did. I did not like the big boy. Can you just leave boy. him? Yeah, I can. The big boy. 100% my plan. Is in Washington. The big boy is in New York. I can make another one of these. I just want to get to the boss. The big boys out there.
I go out and I go to the right, I should be able to just leave. You go up, you go up, you go up, you go around, you go up, you go around, you go up, and then you go around. Is that right there? I see him stomping. His little icon is stomping. <laughs> You can't see it because it's behind the webcam, unfortunately. Oh no, you can see him a little bit. He's walking around down there. For sure. I'm gonna walk. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Do a little zip. They can't stop you zipping. A little bit of free health, why not? Oh, she's doing it. Speedrun stratagems. Get that HPP. Don't oh. jump in the hole. Not even gonna get the other one, it was too risky. Are you another? Oh, you're another shield vial. Is that good? Everything's coming up, Julia. Orb depositor? It might be orb depositor, actually. Orb depositor, my sweet. Where are you? I miss you. It is orb depositor. Orb depositor, yeah. Joy, I swear to God. Is this even where I need to go? I think it is. Impossible to know. The map is inscrutable to me. I have never a single time screwed this map. Really? Well, I'm not playing, so I don't really have to screw it. That's true. That's my job. And you know me, I'm not gonna screw anything I don't have to. That's very true. I like to keep my scrutin to a minimum. God, it's another big boy room. Unhappy about that. What the heck? Whoa! Uh, I'm not really a fan of the big boys. Them big stompers. Yep. They're like Doug when he puts on the big shoes. Yes. And becomes like a different person. And Skeeter's like, you've changed, Doug. Ever since you put on those big shoes, you're different. A lot of episodes like that in cartoons when we were kids. And I feel like that's like a wild lesson to teach some children. You feel like never change. Joy's rubbing her face on the microphone. <laughs> Joy, you want to come over here and sit with me where you're out of the way? No, she wants to be in the way. That's the problem. Come here! She loves to be in the way. She's like, this is where I'll get the most attention. Don't go in Julia's lap. She does not want you. Cats are big like all press is good press. <laughs> all attention is good attention for cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That face was really cute. Yeah, she had her head underneath the microphone and her ears were like flat. And then she was she looking was, up at me. She was doing like a real Puss in Boots look. Yeah. All right, we're not far from the boss now. I believe. Knowing my luck, 
Like, if I were to defeat the boss, there would be an ad break going on. Well, as long as you do it in the next 42 minutes. Oh, I have time. You should be okay. I'll try to not make us go over <laughs> too much. I mean, this is the final, the final returnal. This is the final returnal. We got to do what we got to do here. You know, these uh, like baseball jerseys are like not that breathable. Yeah, but they um, they dry quickly if you sweat in them. I oh kind of God. expected them to be cooler to wear, like but they're not. No. My soccer jerseys are not that breathable either. Oh. I guess also they're like slip sliding around on them. Yeah. And you want them to like hold up to that sort of abuse. Do I need to be in this room? It kind of seems like it, huh? I don't know. I can't scrut the map. It's all just a bunch of twisty, turny little grids and, and blocks and blobs. Get out of there, Scoob! Like the hallway in the Risen Evil movie. Okay, that guy goes at an angle. Easy, easy, easy. They're not even trying. Those lasers are so casual in that hallway. Ooh, it's got luck. Now that I've encountered the laser security systems all across Atropos, I can safely conclude this. The hive mind developed this network in order to contain the severed. That was the intent. But the execution? Failure. It only slowed them down. Do I need to go in there? Why is it telling me to leave? Am I in the wrong? Why is it telling me to go downstairs? Am I in the wrong? Am I in the wrong bit? <laughs> what would be the point of this whole bit if it's not the right bit? Because it would bring me up. There's a red door up there. The red door is, is the boss, right? <laughs> Everyone calling for the dev. 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 Is this the right way? I'm scared. Do we go up to the red door? <laughs> Paint it black. <laughs> yeah, when I see that red door. This dev ooh, is never coming back. It's tempting. It's tempting to paint it black. The boss is at the top. You need to go there, but there might be another shortcut down. The hell? Is there a shortcut down? Thank you, Dev. Am I stupid again? <laughs> Dev, thank you. Dev. Have you been like doing like a whole bunch of shit you didn't need to do? I think so. I mean, at this point, you may as well keep going up. You're almost there. No, that last room's a big pain in the ass. You gotta go back through all these lasers? It's all right. It's all right. I didn't even get hit once. There is no shortcut to the top. Should I just keep going through it? I'm just gonna keep going through it, huh? You need to keep going up. I've completed the game. It's been a while. Dev says, I can't remember if there is a shortcut. Dev! I mean, the map sure thinks there's something down there. Yeah, that's all right. You know what? I'm gonna open this door. Why not?
I have six healing vials. That's pretty good. This is the most healing I've ever had in this game. Just try to minimize loss of life to lasers. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna try. Cause also there's a turret over there. I'm not like pumped about that. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I am going to take that help right over there. A vial. Don't look at me. It actually didn't heal me that much, so. I thought it was about to just take you back the way you came. I was gonna be like, that's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I felt my soul start to leave my body and then it went up and then it went. <laughs> oh my God, I did this at the exact wrong time, huh? No, I didn't. Any time is the right time if you don't get hit. So do, Scooby. Okay. Health? That's a health boost, my friend. That's a health boost. Come here, little buddy. My little buddy. My little buddy. My little buddy. And she's sitting in my lap. No, she's not. She might. She might be. She's here to pester me. She might still could. She oh, might still could. Oh, she had butted me. She wants to sit in your lap because it's not accessible. Yep, because I'm not offering it as an option. God, this room sucks so bad. That's rude. It's rude behavior, sir. He was trying to save you. Joy, I don't need to be looking at your butthole. Big bye. The turrets are gone. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. Joy, you came seriously at the worst time. Why are these rooms so hard? Always. I hate this room so much. That's why I was hoping there was a teleporter down there. Kill pretty quick though. Yeah. You got good, good deepers. I do. There's the other one. Now that I've killed most of the ads, I should be able to just like run around, run around. Can't hit you with a big ring if you're up there. Someday you'll get to shoot them. It's all right. Shooting them is less important than getting shot. All right, one down. No! Why'd you stop moving, bud? It's because she gets stunned when she falls down. 
so I can't move. I lost my fucking ass. Listen, don't get in your head about it. You got four healing potions left. You don't need the astronaut. Joy, I need you to be elsewhere. Bomber. That it's, sucks, man. It's fine. It doesn't suck. You got it. I can't. I don't have enough. Oh, I do. You have, like, double enough. I thought when it was orange, it meant that I couldn't afford it for a second. Oh, God. You are the astronaut, Julia. Remember that. You don't need the astronaut. Because it is you. I thought I had a data cube. Oh no, I had like two data cubes. Well, you can only have one, but I had one in the first run. Got Maroonies. Oh well. If we beat him, we beat him. If we don't, we don't. You can beat him. Just don't succumb to sorrow. I will not. It's baby time. It's baby time. Adult baby. Boss. Have to readjust all the timings. Saber. <laughs> nice, clean phase. It's beating so fierce. Hello? Take your 
time, bud. Why are you running? Why are you running, baby? Oh no, I forgot to go twice. Yeah. I was too focused on reloading. I won't do that again. I had killed him. Or, you know, taking that last part. Phased his ass. Yeah. You're about to phase his ass. Now you phased his ass. This was the one that I didn't know how to do it last time. I phased through that platform I was on. Yeah, it was a little weird there. I have no more healing, huh? That sucks. Okay. I wanted that platform. Ah! I 
towards the end of the stream. Well, you know. If I didn't lose a stupid astronaut. I mean, you never know what could have happened. Stupid level. You you did good. You got halfway through that last phase. Should we look up the the thing that happens after you defeat that guy? Since uh, this is the last Eternal stream. If you want to. And then that way people will at least know. I feel like there's got to be ways to consistently dodge some of those moves. Yeah. You ever watch like videos on like strats? I bet there's strats. Trans strats. <laughs> Have you tried the trans strats? I'm so bummed. You did great. You got all the way there. I had to contend with a real life cat. <laughs> it's a very hard boss. It's a hard boss. Sorry. You did what you could do. And we can all rest easy knowing that I'm about to gain 80 gigs of space on my hard drive. <laughs> At least there's that. Yeah. Into the void we go. Goodbye, Celine. <laughs> Alright, let's look, let's look up the cutscene and then How do you intend to find it? Uh, I'm gonna go to Should I eyeball this? Yeah, can we let me. Okay. I don't wanna dox myself. Yeah. Any more than is necessary. I'm just gonna quit the game. Sure. You can just, you have to hold it. Do you want to search whatever you're looking for? Uh, what's Boss Baby's actual name? Not that guy. The other one. Nemesis. Nemesis. Nem Nemesis. Um, Is it that first one? Maybe this one? Seems like it. Is it no talking? <laughs> uh, well, let me let me do this. And do this, and we'll see. It's no talking. Wow, that person just got blasted, huh? Is this this is what you want? Yeah, you have to go. Like, he was very close to killing the boss there. All right, then we'll unmute this. We you want to full screen the Returnal video? We'll full screen this. We'll turn on this. We'll turn up this. See how this audio is. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Instructions. Finally, I'll have an answer to White Shadow.
receive my signal. Then... That's it. White Shadow... You were how I escape. I escaped. I was... Helios. You're still here, too. Astra! Is anyone listening? It's Selene. We're both trapped. At the bottom. That's it. Truly horrific. She, uh... She gets rescued. She goes home. She has a whole life. She dies. She wakes up back here. Turns out no matter how she dies, even if it's of old age back home, she is still tied to this place. Yeah. She still comes back. She's still stuck here. Yeah, incredibly fucked up. And that is like the halfway point of the game. And that is the halfway point of the game, yeah. You have like a whole nother set of levels to do to to get deeper into the story yep yeah it's that's a such a nightmarish scene but that is where this game ends for us because we need to free up jacob's computer and also yeah. joy demands that i leave this chair and as always we recommend watching jacob geller's video and we recommend playing this Draz video has game. been linking if you want to know about like the whole story. And um also pick up the game for yourself if you want to if you want to play more of it. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. I re I really highly recommend. So, uh if the dev is still here, thank you dev for coming in here. Yeah, thank you. It's such a good game. Great work on on whatever part you worked on you said you were part of like the animation team. that's very cool that's so awesome i'm sorry i wound at you like a baby <laughs> but until thank you, you helped thank me you for your help also. yeah uh that's it for this one we're gonna be doing drawfy stream tomorrow night
Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> she hates it. Too bad. Uh, drop your stream tomorrow night. Wednesday will be my Patreon? stream again. We're going to oh, do. Yeah, sorry. Patreon. Patreon bonus stream is this Thursday. I mean, Friday. It was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Sorry. I, yeah. Patreon bonus stream is this Friday. Wednesday, I'm streaming. I'm going to do. We're going to do the dude path of 10 dates. Oh, yeah. So I'm excited to see who we date on the dude path. We must follow the dude path. Yes. And see where it brings us. Yes. Um, yeah. And then this Friday is the bonus stream. This is the month we're doing everything early, right? Yeah, because um, we're all going to be busy that the yes. 26th. So, this, so everything got shifted. This Friday will be the bonus stream. And then the next Friday will be the draw class. Yeah, on which the nineteenth, I will decide tomorrow. It's technically my month, but we were originally supposed to do the draw class on a day where I wasn't going to be here, and we were going to switch with Karina, so Karina would do two in a row. Um, but then it turns out everyone except Karina is not going to be here <laughs> on that last day, so she would be by herself. So we shifted everything up a month. So we're going to figure out if it's going to be me teaching a class or Karina. So we'll see. We'll solve that mystery and let everyone know as soon as we can. Yeah. But that's it for now. Thanks, Thanks for joining everybody. us. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.